Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate multiple regression coefficient. First of all, we just wanted to know what is called multiple regression. We have an example to study about uh, calculation of uh, regression coefficients here. Multiple regression coefficients, how to calculate, how to apply. So that's what we are going to study today. Uh, if you're a new uh, student, kindly uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, just find out the links for the other uh, classes in the description box. We shall move on uh, to find out how to calculate the multiple regression coefficients in this video. First of all, we should understand what is called a multiple regression and what are these coefficients. Then we shall move on to the example here. So here, multiple regression is an extension of simple linear regression only. So it is nothing but the simple linear regression. First, I should know. It is nothing but an extension. See, for example, I am having y is equal to 3x plus 2. This is the simple linear regression. Okay, so now, similarly, I am extending this to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 plus 7. Like this, if I just extend this, there are x1, x2, x3. There are three independent variables which will be useful in predicting the value of y. So this I will call it as multiple regression. Okay. So what, is, what are these coefficients? Now regression coefficient is a multiple regression is the slope. See, for example, y is equal to 5x plus 3. Then 5 is the slope. 3 is the y-intercept. Similarly, I'm going to have y is equal to 3x1 plus 5x2. This is what is the values. This is what is the value I'm going to calculate. Normally, we will be writing this as beta 1. This is written as beta 2. Our object is to find out these values and substitute in the equation. That is what we are going to do in this particular video. That, that is uh, all about uh, the regression coefficient. Okay. So now, we shall uh, move on to an example here. Multiple regression formula, which formula we are going to use it for our uh, sum. See, this is a normal formula. See, y is equal to beta naught, beta one x one, beta two x two, beta three x three, etc., etc., up to x n. This will be displaying. Okay, most of the time, what we'll be having, see, this will be written as y i is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 and x i 1 then plus beta 2 x i 2 then this i will be replaced etc etc this i will be replaced so i'll be getting the first equation y 1 is equal to b naught plus beta 1 then x 1 1 see and plus beta 2 x 1 2 etc Suppose if I have y2, then I'll write beta naught plus beta 1 and x21, then beta 2, x22, etc. etc. So now this is then error. So this we are going to study. What is this? Uh, this is an epsilon will be added to this equation. So how to calculate this? We are going to study in this here. This x1, x2, x3, xn are the independent variables. See here x1 and x2 x3 and etc up to xn are called independent variable then y is the dependent variable this y is the dependent variable we are going to predict this value we are going to predict this value using the multiple regression okay so now what is this beta naught beta naught is nothing but the y intercept and beta 1 and beta 2 and beta 3 are the regression coefficient of the corresponding variables and this epsilon is called the model error. Uh, why we are using is how much variation in our estimate of why we are going to add this. We are going to calculate this and we are adding it. Most of the time, we won't be doing it whenever we are having a normal distribution with a mean zero. So we'll quickly move on to how to calculate this, these things using a method here. We are using a matrix method. So we are using a matrix method to find out. So before, matrix method you should understand what is called the transpose okay 
what is called transpose of a matrix and how to calculate the inverse of a matrix. I hope you are having a knowledge of how to calculate the inverse. Suppose if you are not having that knowledge, uh, we will be doing a separate video, how to calculate the inverse in, uh, in the coming days so that you can learn, learn from this video itself, right? So what is the transpose I'm going to tell you? So inverse is a big process that you can find it out. Now inverse is nothing but suppose X is there, I'm having an a matrix one, two, three, four, five, six, then X dash is the inverse. Uh, I'm sorry, X dash is called the transpose of the matrix. And usually we will denote this by X T or X capital T or X dash, all are same only. Now the rows, what are the rows here? There are two rows. Rows will be written as the column, one, two, three. So I'm writing it as a column, then four, five, six. If I write the rows as a column, then I will call this as the transpose. This is what we are going to study first, okay, right. So I'm going to have the equation like this. Usually I'm having an equation called Y1 is equal to beta naught plus beta one, uh, X11, one, one, et cetera. You come here, X11, uh, one, one. and suppose, this is this is what is the equation here. So I'm going to show it here. Okay, right. So now here, this is beta one x one one plus beta two here x one two plus beta three uh, x one three plus epsilon one, for example. So next one will be y two beta naught beta one two one etc. Suppose if the equation is there like this. Okay. So then what I'm going to do here, I am going to write this as a matrix format. Okay, now imagine here is one equation. This will be, okay, now these things will be written as Y first. Okay, now these things will be written as Y here. So that is one equation. So I'll call this as Y. Then all these things will be written as X here. Okay, matrix X I'm going to write. Okay, these coefficients here, note down. All or beta naught, beta naught, beta naught. So I'll be writing one, one, one for this year. One, one, one. Okay, one, 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 etc. Now I'm writing this x one one, x two one, up to x n one. Then similarly for the next one, I'm writing it here. Then I'm going to add this epsilon here in the next one. Epsilon. Okay. So here this beta naught, beta one, beta three are the variables which we are using here. This is the regression coefficient we are going to use it okay there are three variables so we are having beta one beta two and beta three if it is four variable i'm going to have four beta naught beta one beta two beta three etc for this right i'm going to add now the epsilon value epsilon 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 now i want to write this as in uh, matrix format how it will come simplified form will be this is y is equal to now this matrix is called y this matrix is called x this matrix both okay now when i multiply this is called beta here and this is the last one is epsilon our object is to find out the value of beta that is i want to find out what is beta naught what is beta one and what is beta two and what is beta three only so using a matrix method i'm going to calculate how to calculate so i want to calculate beta how the beta is written? Beta is written as x dash x to the power of inverse, and I'll be having x dash and y. This is an equation. These two things we are going to find out. This is the first equation, this is the second equation, and I multiply that will give you beta naught. So, first I'm going to find out x dash x the whole inverse. Okay, so then I am substituting the value. So, first of all, what I'm going to do it here. If it a multiple linear model to the following data set, uh, example sum is being given here, okay? Now, now, I want to just find out the answers for this. So these are all the values I'm going to write as it is. And I'm writing the equation. This is Y and I'm writing the Y value. And always use one beta naught in the first, okay? One beta naught, then X1 is given. So I'm writing two here, one beta one. Here one is given, then one beta two and epsilon one. Similarly, for the next one, I'll write two for y, then one for beta naught. Just see this one, 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 well, will come for all others. Now three will be x one, five will be, see three will be x one, five will be 
the x2. Similarly, for the third equation, the, the fourth equation, the fifth e equation, right? I'm going to convert these equation into a matrix format using the line of best fit. What I'm going to do it, first I'll write what is called the line of best fit here. So this is what is my equation. So here I'm going to find out beta naught, I'm going to find out beta one, I'm going to find out beta two, I'm going to substitute in the equation. So how to find out that? So first of all, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw this once again. So whatever we have found out in the previous screen only, this is what is that, right? I, I frame the equation, I frame the equation, I frame the equation, I frame the equation here, I frame the equation. Then I'm going to write this in, in, in the form of the matrix. So this is a matrix Y here. Three, two, four, five, eight will be matrix Y. That's what I'm going to write it here every time, okay? Uh, in x value, I'm going to write it. What are the x values? The coefficients here. Now, one, two, one. Okay, that's what is there. One, two, one. Then I'm going to write the second one. One, three, five. That's what I'm writing. One, three, five. Similarly, one, five, three. So here, one, five, three. Then one, seven, six. Here, one, seven, six. Then one, eight, seven. I'm going to write one, seven, eight. Now, what are the variables here? One variable is beta naught, another variable is beta one, another variable is beta two. So I'm going to write this as the another matrix here for multiplication, beta naught, beta one, beta two, because two variables are given. Then obviously I'm going to write the epsilon value. Okay, now I'm going to calculate this multiplication and I'm going to do it. So I want to find out this is a beta value. The whole thing is called the beta value. This is what I'm going to find it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the matrices to find it out. So how to find out here? I'm going to show now, let's check it out here, okay? Now this is what is the uh, equation we have written here. Okay, I'm going to show once again, you see here, this is what is this. First I'm writing X dash, okay? This is what is the value which is given in the previous one you see here. So now this is what is the one, okay? Now this is, I'll take this as X here. What is X? One, 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 one. Okay, so five ones here, then two, uh, three, five, seven, eight. Then I'm writing one, five, three, six, seven. I'm writing the X dash here. How to write X dash? So one, 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 one will come here. Two, three, five, seven, eight will come here. Then one, five, three, six, seven. This is what is X bar. Okay, that's what is the uh, thing written in the next one. Okay, now this is X dash here. Okay, right. So I'm going to show once again here. Let's see, right. X, okay, x dash here. Right. Then I'm going to write what is x. Then I'm going to multiply this. How to do a multiplication? First row will be multiplied with the first column. We always you should understand here this one. If you do not know how to multiply uh, two matrices, we'll be doing in video. For that also we can go see that and come back once again for this right so one is multiplied with one okay so one and one is multiplied with one so i'll write plus one plus one plus one plus one so that will give you five here i have written five similarly what i'm going to do it here i'm sorry see uh what i'm going to do here the second what i'm going to do is here two then this two then three and this three, then five and this five, then seven and this seven and this eight and eight. I'm multiplying, I'm going to write. Okay, so now that's what is the uh, values here. After multiplication, I'm getting this particular matrix. So once that matrix is there, I'm going to calculate the next one. What is that? X, X inverse. So this is the value. I got it, X dash, X is this the value, okay? Now, this is the matrix for that. I'm finding out inverse. So, we inverse also. It's a very big process. So, once I found out the inverse, I'm getting these values. Okay. So, now you can check it out whether you are getting this value while you are finding out the inverse. Okay. And you can do a uh, method using a calculator and find it out all this value. So, once you find out the inverse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the formula. Before that, I am going to find out what is x bar y. So, now x dash, x dash is this one. And why is this one? I'm going to multiply. One is multiplied with this three, etc., etc., etc. I'm multiplying so that I'll get 22, 131, and bull one. So after this, I'm going to substitute in the formula. 
Okay, so which is the formula I'm going to use it here? This is the formula for beta. So I'll multiply both the values here by writing it here. Okay, so I have written the first one x dash x bar. Then I'm writing this value, multiply it. I got the value. Now, what's the value I got it here is nothing but this is the beta value. Beta is nothing but beta zero and beta one and beta three. Okay, now this is I am substituting here beta zero nothing but zero point i'm going to show it now you can see here beta naught is zero point five zero so i have written here then beta one is one that's what i have written here okay now beta two is zero point two five negative so zero point two five negative so this will be the multiple regression line of best fit this is how we will calculate using the uh matrix method why we are not using the normal method it is a very tedious one it's a very bigger one so that for multiple correlation multiple regression for multiple regression if you want to calculate you can use the uh matrix formula so that it will be easy only thing you have to remember is how to calculate the multiplication of matrix okay so now it's a 10 standard portion anyway so multiplication of matrix and as well as finding the inverse of matrix we should know how to find out suppose if you do not know how to multiply the matrix and to find out the inverse of the matrix we are doing a separate video for that in the mathematics section of this channel so you can visit sometimes back and you can find out how to find out the inverse of the matrix as well as the multiplication of the matrix once you are thorough with that it is very very easy for you to calculate the uh, multiple regression okay this is how we will calculate the uh, multiple regression okay don't miss uh, to watch our uh, this playlist for the regression also okay thank you very much have a good day